Hey everyone, happy Monday. So I have been thinking about this topic for so long now, i would say about like two months. And you saw, uh, you know, the topic of this video that how I have been embracing and been inspired about my gray hair. Yes, I have a gray hair. And I have news for you. I have a gray hair since I was 15. The first gray hair that I got was like I was 15 years old. And I remember just, you know, get one by one. At the time I could do that, right? I no longer can do that because if I do, I'm gonna be bold. So because it got so many, but what I was doing by the time is just like special, like I would say five years ago, I start just every other week, you know, just to, you know, color my hair just here on the top. And I want to show you this. And um, you see, it's right here. Oh, I, I'm sure you can see, right? All the gray hair here. And um, so lately, you know, I'd say more like two months ago, I start to look this gray hair a little bit different than I used to look before, right? Because sometimes we look and say, oh, we're getting old. But to be honest with you, I think age is just a number. I am 44 today, but I feel in my heart that I'm still 15. And my gray hair, right, not gonna define me for who I am. But I start just to grow a little bit with the, the gray hair, it start to grow on me, right? But not only that, so I decided for the past few months, I have not been, you know, coloring, like, you know, I use that thing 10 minutes that I can buy from CVS, I color myself. But not only that, but the gray hair has been inspiring me a lot. It's been telling me a lot of things those days. And one of the things that the gray hair is telling me, you know, today is that, you know, what people think about me is not, you know, <laughs> I don't have to worry about it, right? It's not my problem. So I should live my life the way I want because what others think, you know, doesn't matter, right? So the gray hair also is telling me that I'm getting wiser every day. I don't feel like getting old, I'm getting wiser, right? The other thing that I see that the gray hair is telling me too, is that everybody has a story. And sometimes, and I was talking to a friend last night and I was saying like, sometimes we look at people, we, we forgot that everybody has a story. So have you thought about it just to stop and see what's behind people's story, right? And it's so, it's so important too. And you know what? Another thing the gray hair telling me, it's my life and I should live my life the way I want. Know how people want me to live my life, right? It's not that awesome when you feel that embrace is your life, right? You don't worry about how people want you to live your life. So, and like I said, you know, um, the gray hair also is telling me that people either want to grow and evolve or they don't. And I want to grow. I want to evolve, you know. This gray hair is telling me it's time to grow. It's time to evolve, right? That's why I no longer want to waste my time or just like with people don't add anything to my life. People that are not aligning with my purpose because the gray hair is telling me it's time to grow, right? And again, you know, people, People either want to grow and evolve, like I said, or they don't. So you don't have to worry about them if they don't want to evolve, like. And another thing is time is a great healer, right? We go through problems in life and, um, but you know, one day after another, you know, the time is a great healer. Every day is different, right? The other thing that the gray hair is telling me I don't have to please all the people all the time. It's it's okay to say no, and I will say no very often, right? So I just made the list here of the things I would not forget. And also enjoy the ride. So many of us, we're so worried about tomorrow and you know about next year, 10 years, 20 years, we don't enjoy the ride, you know? 
this gray hair is here is telling me enjoy every day like it's the last day because tomorrow is not guaranteed right so be the best that you can every day that's what this tell me be the best i can every day how i can make a difference you know we don't you know uh, a lot of people think about to live in a legacy after they die no you know, leave your legacy now, create your legacy now. That's what the gray hair is telling me. Choose your battles. Yes, some things are just not worth fighting about it. And I have learned a hard lesson over two years about choosing my battles. You know, I have really strong core values and I have the sense of justice that I want just to to help anyone. If I believe, you know, something's wrong, it doesn't matter if it's with me or somebody else, I go after, I'm gonna try to fix, I'm gonna try to help people. But what I learned, you know, what those gray hairs telling me, that when you fight with a pig, you know, you're both gonna get dirty in the mud. But the problem is, you know, the pig gonna like it and enjoy it, and you don't, right? This is a hard lesson that I had learned, you know, last year, and I've been learning this year. And this gray hair here, every time I look in my mirror and I see those gray hairs here, it's telling me, okay, choose your battles, yes. Because when you fight with a pig, you go, you both gonna just get in the mud and the pig gonna enjoy it and you would not enjoy it, right? Again, don't waste your type, time with the negative people, right? Because yes, time is valuable. And like I said, we can't have control about what people say, what people think about you. Folks, that is a reason why we have two ears and one mouth so we can you know listen more talk less you know i can't believe you know some people you know with gray hair and i'm not talking even about age in the you know 50s and they're gossiping talking about other people back if you don't have anything to say good don't say it at all zip it okay that's what the gray hair telling me right now all right grow up it's time to evolve right so keep on smiling no matter what yes that's what i do you know and i try to life is not perfect i am not perfect that's what the gray hair is telling me every day right i am you know not perfect and then I'm out, I am accepting myself and my own imperfection, okay? Do I want to grow? I want to evolve? Yes, I do. But I am not perfect, okay? So, and um, life is not that serious. We take life too serious. You make, we complicate things too much. And then another thing, and I'm going to go back again because I think it's so important. You know, the gray hair is telling us, stop talking and listen. Listen one, twice, three times. Listen more. How many times do you have to? And stop talking. You know, when you see somebody, this is something that is really bothering me in those days, gossiping. You're talking about someone. Stop that person right there, okay? We are getting old we are growing we're supposed to get wiser right stop gossiping stop just talking about others it doesn't add anything you know to our lives and to other people life like you know and another thing the gray hair is telling me that it's okay you know i have flaws another day i had a uh, a thing and uh, a problem and I have some friends around me and the way I reacted they told me like Kyola you know you don't have to worry this is gonna stay here between us I say I never told you that I'm perfect listen ladies gentlemen if you keep your eyes on me eventually you're gonna get disappointed because you know what I'm a human like you I'm not perfect I have good days I have bad days I have flaws I have you know strengths too but I have flaws so you know what is good in me that God that lives in me kill is not good no zero but God that lives in me makes me a good person so when you see a flaw on me it just this is killer 
real, you know, as you see. So keep your eyes, you know, in something else bigger, you know, than the other person around you. Because if you look me or, you know, your neighbor, your someone, you're going to find flaws because guess what? You have flaws too, okay? This is also telling me that I have to worry less because, you know, I have to surrender sometimes and let God be in control of my life because sometimes what I want for me is not what He wants for me. So I have to surrender. And that's what I've been learning, you know, every day to surrender, to ask God just to, to guide me, you know, to tell me, you know, what's good, what's not, who should be in my life and who should not be in my life those days. Yeah. That's, that's what the gray hair is telling me, is be present, you know, especially today with social media, we are so lost, we are not present. We hide behind us this screen just to pretend that we are somebody else, like be present, be at the moment, you know, be real, right? That's what the gray hair is telling me dear, every day, you know, and keep moving, okay? Open yourself to new ideas, to new experiences for new things. I just signed up to a sewing, sewing class. I want to learn how to sew, right? And um, how to do a blouse, a short, and fix stuff. You know, open your mind for new things. You know, I, I want to learn more, right? Folks, Empty Mind is a workshop of the devil. And um, I've been, you know, I, I got so busy and people always ask me all the time, you know, how can you handle all? right? And I, even sometimes I don't know how can I handle all, but you know, God give me the strengths every day and I like to keep my mind occupied because guess what? When my mind is empty, is the time I get depressive, is the time that I start just to think that life is not good enough, right? So I take the focus away from me and put in other things. So that's what I do every day. So, um, and I've been, like for two months now, I meant to come here to share this video with you because every time I'm going to the mirror today, that's what, you know, my gray hair been telling me and inspired me, you know, and I thought I had to come here. I had to share this with you. I hope this can also, you know, give you some inspiration as well and um, about just like, if you have gray hair, if you don't have gray hair, but just how you can just see life a little bit different from now on. Okay, folks, I'm not perfect at all, you know, but like I said, the gray hair is telling me, you know, no matter what, I am evolving, I'm growing, and I'm becoming a better person, and I'm not with my flaws. Okay, so that's my message for today. And, um, you know, if you, I don't know for how long, I'll keep the gray hair here. And I don't know how long it's going to take to grow, you know. But, and if I feel like eventually that I want to call it back again, I will do it. But at this time, I felt like just to leave it. And I want to share here with you as well and tell um, how the gray hair has been inspired me every day in my life. Okay, folks. And, um just remember, you know, um, life is too short, tomorrow is not guaranteed, especially for the ladies out there. This video is not only for the ladies, it's for the guys as well. But for the ladies, we as women, I've had the post here another day that, you know, we already go through so much in life. And um, why in this world, we want to put each other down. You know, we should lift each other up. We should help each other, inspire each other in many, many ways, right? And I'm gonna tell you, you know, it's your job to stop people. You know, when people are trying to let other person down, it's your job, if you did, to stop that person, you know, because if you just feed the venom, you know, you're part of that thing. So you got to stop. You got to stop. And I have news for you too about this. You know, when we, especially about gossiping, you know, because this is something that I'm so disgusted about in those days. People, adults, you know, people with gray hair like me, you know, 
you know, people in the 50s and the 40s, they are out there gossiping about others. I have news for you. If you are listening to somebody gossiping about someone, I have news for you. You know, as soon as that person that's been gossiping turn around, guess what? If she gossips about others to you, she, go she will gossip about you to others. Write this down. This, I'm not making this up. So that's what I'm saying. And I just like, you know, I hear, you know, a lot of homers and people talking. And, you know, I have people calling me like 2 a.m. sometimes to tell me the others have been gossiping about me. You know what I say? I don't want to hear. I don't. Because what they think about me is a problem. You know, I know who I am. I know, right? What people say doesn't define me. I know the gray hair is telling me, you know, I know my identity. Not anyone out there is going to define who I am, folks. That's the message for you today. Just, you know, give some thoughts, think about it, all right? And embrace, embrace your age, embrace your hair, embrace you. Always, always be you, do you, and stay true. I love you all, folks. I have to leave because I have a meeting. So that's the message for today. Bye-bye.